perfect day, you don't match. Okay, I'm gonna start by making my suede cord thinner, and to do this, I'm just gonna cut straight down the center. If you already have thin cord, then you can skip this step. This just makes it easier later on. Next, you're gonna measure the length of your wrist, and then cut multiple strands of this length. Since this is a layered bracelet, there are a lot of things you can do for each layer, so just mix and match and have fun with it. On three of my cords, I strung a silver tube bead onto them, and I got these at Michael's. I think this just makes the bracelet look so much better, and you can see now why we had to make the cord thinner. On another cord, I added these little silver metallic beads, and you can do as little or as many as you want. I did five. Carelessness is what I need. Makes life interesting. A purple hair, a green dress, a dazzle. Another cool idea is to do a braid for one of the layers. So here I'm just taking three of the thin strands and braiding it normally. So once you have all your layers, you can play around with the placement of your strands so you know how you want your bracelet to look. You can see here I'm moving things around and I put the braid down but I didn't like it so I took it out. And don't forget to add some plain suede cord and a chain just to balance everything out. When you're done, pick up all the layers without the chain and put your ribbon clamp on the ends. Then you can use your pliers to press down onto the ribbon clamp and you'll see that the layers stay exactly where you put them. Loosely place the bracelet over your wrist so you know where your second ribbon clamp should go and then cut off the excess cord. Just in case you were wondering, I found these ribbon clamps at Michael's Craft Store. Now you can put the ribbon clamp on the other side, so pressing down with your pliers again. To add chain to your bracelet, you can hook a jump ring onto the end and then you can add your chain to that jump ring. Before you close that jump ring with your pliers, add one end of the closure. Lastly, just repeat that whole process on the other end of the bracelet. And then you're done. But I know what you're thinking. What if I don't have ribbon clamps? Don't worry. If you don't have ribbon clamps, you can use one long piece of suede cord to create a wrap bracelet. This still allows you to add any beads that you want to. To add a closure, you just need to put the suede cord through the hole and then double knot it. For extra security, you can add super glue to this knot later on. Just to see that smile on your pretty face. I'll do everything I have to, won't let anything in my way, yeah. I'll now your layered bracelet is complete. If you try this out, make sure to tweet me or Instagram me a picture. I would love to see it. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click like and subscribe for more. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! Oh, I never, ever felt this good and I can't get enough.